new what you like you know the kind of strokes you will need or like you know what you are doing now how you going to make it effective at the pro level i mean that is something you want to talk about i'm sure for a lot of kids and the juniors uh, listening that will be of uh, yes. great help you know how you thought about uh, playing at the pro level even when you are playing under 14 yes i think i think it's uh, it's important to have a vision of and a goal like you said of wanting to make it big in the, on the pro level and but uh, it it seems like it's such a big broad thought for a 14 13 year old but to break it down uh, I, even you and i have spoken about this and even elias sir and i in chennai have spoken about this where we always talk about you need to have some weapons in your game you need to have that big serve or you need to have that big forehand uh, or you need to have that fantastic movement or or a big backhand or you know some uh, in your within your game of tennis you need to have those weapons and uh, i think that made it easier in my head i always told myself i want to have a really good serve and i want to have a huge forehand and i want to work really hard and and, and uh, move and get to every ball so i i, I narrow these down as my strengths and then uh, that kind of set a path that says okay i'm going to work on these things and get better at these things and uh, and and that kind of you have a thought in your head of how you want your game to be and i think subconsciously that always stuck in my head and uh, it just makes practicing every day fun no that you have some kind of uh, some kind of path on every day's practice yeah you you mentioned about your strengths and you wanted to have a weapon i mean talking about it uh, you know now when you look back uh, you think you didn't pay enough uh, you know attention or purpose uh, to your backhand compared to your forehand or because you could run around and you're quick you thought you could manage i i think i think what i yeah i we worked on this a lot you know i think uh, i think it was more of a defense mechanism where i knew that i could win if i just put the ball in and use my brain and win in juniors and and i didn't uh, think too far ahead on uh, on on a, on on I thought so much I'll put it this way I thought so much about having the weapons that I forgot that you can have all the weapons in the world but you shouldn't have a weakness if you have a, all it takes is one weakness at the very top to uh, expose you you know um uh, so if I if I have to look back at my career I would say I would I would not just look at you, know, you need to have a big forehand you need to have that big serve or whatever comes naturally to you but you should on the same lines prioritize saying I'm not going to have any holes in my game and i want to have everything set to a certain foundation whether be it uh, a backhand be it uh, your footwork or your mental strength or your uh, anything even your forehand and your serve they all have to hit a certain amount of power level before you can think about developing a strength so if i had to look back in my career sir i would say yeah that that one aspect that i skipped on uh, but uh, knowing uh, how i am tactically i found a way to move around that and uh, i realized that if i'm playing doubles i only have to play half the court so i can i can i can maneuver around actually it's actually strange because a lot of people uh, i mean i have got questions saying why do you play the right court i mean i have to explain to them the the, the tactical uh, the thought process behind it because not many people think like that so anyway credit yeah, to you doing that yeah the ask me they, they look at me and they say why are you playing on the right side of the court but uh, again it, it, it tactics you know we, we spoke we spoke about tennis uh, as a junior uh it's also a lot again to do with mat anger and my stint in uh, college tennis for those four years where i remember going to him and saying why am i playing on the why do you want me to play on the dual court you know i have a forehand i can hit forehands all day no problem on the dual on the ad court but uh, you know I, I, it's funny when i think about it, i'm so naive because the best points in doubles happen when you're not on your own side you have to move to the other side and be willing to uh, anticipate and uh, Uh, you know put your put your guts on the line and and, and make those moves uh and it turns out that i have a really good uh, chip lock but i've been chipping my backhand for like uh, 10 15 years so i was able to find a way to maximize my strengths with my chip on my backhand side and my forehand's always been pretty solid and uh when i'm crossing to the other side i'll be moving with my athleticism and my left hand uh, to make uh, put away volleys So a lot of these thoughts came into my head before I said, "Yeah, I'd like to play on the deuce court," and I found some success doing that. But that's not to say that I didn't like playing the ad because you know I won Chennai Open with with Bob's on the ad court. So it, it, to me, it doubles. Yeah, it, there is that amount of tactics, but at the same time, it's still tennis. You still have to play, and you just need to. There's no uh, there's no magic trick again to say if you play on the left side you're going to be great, and if you play on the right side you're going to be terrible. You know, you still need to know what you're doing uh, tactically. 
on the court.